You said that the bro culture of entourage still exists. You think that's, of course it still exists, right? Uh, yeah. They're those guys every you night mean, in, in Hollywood. You mean like outside of the bro culture. Yeah. hundred percent it still exists. Yeah. Uh, you, everywhere you look, it's still. Everywhere you look. Oh, all, are you referring to like how people always go on and on about how misogynistic the show was? Do they do that? <laughs> yes. Constantly. Constantly. And you're, you're upset by that. Oh, I think it's such horseshit. That's what the show was. It was about like, a bunch of these. But 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 that was <laughs> it. A different time. A a different time. B not that different to what happens still now. Mm-hmm. Like let's be real. You know. Yeah, it was post <laughs> Me Too, uh, before Me Too. <laughs> yeah. But like every week, there's some new shithead that's you know has some is going going down for something. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, I always just defended it. I was like, I think I just always got sensitive about it because I think people love to hate on things that are working. And so I'll, someone's always going to say something. And the truth is that, you know, Doug Allen was a genius. And Doug Allen simply wrote about the shit that went on. And he did it in an entertaining fashion. So it's like you can shit on the show <laughs> or just like hate our business. But he was writing about our business. Like Doug used to say, oh, my God, this is tame compared to what the real story is. Right. You know, so, yeah. So I roll my eyeballs because I just think it's ridiculous. And yeah. I think like. You know, people are inherently fascinated with our business. And I think you got to take the good with the bad. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of bad. There's a lot of bad. There (laughs) certainly is.